Did Prince William give Kate Middleton a $12,000 necklace for their 10th wedding anniversary? Eagle-eyed royal fans were quick to spot some serious bling on the Duchess of Cambridge's neck in the royal couple's new anniversary photo. Some speculated that it might have been a gift to mark the occasion, seeing as the 10-year modern wedding gift suggestion is diamond jewelry, according to The Knot. The necklace is the Daisy Heritage pendant from Asprey, which goes for a whopping $12,350, according to multiple reports. The couple also marked their anniversary by sharing a super cute video which shows the couple with their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Thank you to everyone for the kind messages on our wedding anniversary. We are enormously grateful for the 10 years of support we have received in our lives as a family. WNC, the caption reads. While this has been quite the happy celebration for the royal couple, it has been a bit of a turbulent time in the royal family lately. With Prince Philip passing away, as well as the ramifications from Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. Access Hollywood recently chatted with a royal expert, Charlie Langston, after reports began to circle online that Harry might potentially skip his late mother's statue unveiling this summer. The royal expert weighs in on the speculation, noting that the only reason she thinks he'd skip it would be if pregnant Meghan Markle were to go into labor. It's been suggested by a few royal insiders that Prince Harry was quite shocked by the frosty reception that he received from certain members of the royal family when he returned to the UK for Prince Philip's funeral. And as a result, a few people are speculating that he may decide to pull out of the ceremony to unveil a statue that was created in his mother's honor. Now, I personally do not believe that Harry would avoid such an important occasion simply because he was worried about maybe getting another frosty reception. However, it's important to keep in mind that Meghan Markle is due to give birth at around the same time, we believe, as the statue unveiling is due to take place. So it really will depend on the arrival of Prince Harry's second child as to whether he feels confident about leaving her in LA and flying to the UK. I would imagine even though restrictions and lockdown are, is starting to ease up in the UK, I think it will still be deemed something of a risk for Meghan to fly if she's just given birth. And obviously, if she hasn't given birth by that point, it would be far too dangerous for her to get on a flight when she is about to welcome her second child. So it'll be a difficult decision for Harry because he will have to kind of choose whether he stays with his wife or flies to the UK, even if it's just for a day. Obviously, he has the means to do so. He could, if he really wanted to, I would imagine, get a private jet that could take him to the UK so that he could be in and out within a matter of hours even. But that, in my mind, is really the only reason why Harry would avoid going to this ceremony. We know already that it's been discussed that he and William were going to put aside their differences and really focus on paying tribute to their mother. And I don't think that Harry's experience at Philip's funeral would prevent him from doing that, especially given that it's still a few months down the line. So there's still time for the brothers to really work on mending their relationship before they have to reunite once again.